you're working on your site and it's growing, it's evolving, it's organic, it's alive, and you're changing things. You're adding images, you're adding web pages, you're maybe even changing the file structure over here. Now, there's a lot of ways we can do this. Let's look at one or two. For example, the basic file new. I want to create a new web page. Now, we will get into this in much more detail later on. Let's just open up a page. But you have a lot of choices. Blank page, HTML, oh, two column fixed gives you an idea what it's going to look like over there. And we click create. We make our changes to it. We do well, whatever we want to to make this page ours. And then eventually you will go to the word file save, which actually you should do straight out. Let's go to save. Now in save, it asks for a name. How about page one? That's real dynamic. It's going to take you to your site, but I don't want it in the site proper. I do want it, say, in web pages over here. And, well, click save. Let's go ahead and close this one out for now. Let's open up our files panel. Click the little button right there, and, well, there it is. Now, another way we can create a generic page and place it exactly where we want it to be instead of going through that process is you can come up and right-click on web pages and go into new file. You even have new folder if you want to add a folder. And there it is. It just automatically creates it. Now, that is a generic page. All right, it's nothing special. It's a generic page. But that would be a very quick way to get a page exactly where you want it to be. Now, once you're here, obviously, we can select these and click on them and change their names if we don't like the names. If I decide to move it, see, here's the cool thing about working within a site in Dreamweaver. Let's say we have a whole bunch of pages here, hundreds and hundreds of pages, and we're linking these pages back and forth and doing all these crazy things, and you decide you need to move this page into, say, I don't know, PDF. Let's just say for an example, PDF. Understand that when you move it, Dreamweaver will automatically look at all the links in the other hundreds of pages and go into the HTML and change them based on your permission. It will ask you if you want to do that. If I change the name, it will go through all the HTML and literally change the name for me. Now, I can right-click on one of these if I want to and say edit and say delete. Do you really want to delete this? Yeah. Once you're working inside of the files panel, inside a site in Dreamweaver, as you begin to grow the site and create things within that site, basically, it just kind of helps you out. It makes sure that everything is going to work for you. And that's just one more reason why you just must have a site when you're working in Dreamweaver. It's indispensable.